me do it all over again. <laughs> the 29th anniversary of John Lennon's death and fans are being invited to come together for a musical tribute in North Hollywood. Carrie Berglund has details. Eventually, as Tim was continually drawn to Beatles tribute bands and shows about the group, he decided Lennon's light needed illumination and exploration that only John himself could give it. So he began his creative channeling. It's like if we could have John back for one more evening and live two hours with him as he goes to the arc of his life and explains why. I just thought, why, why not bring it to life? because people still want to hear the music and feel the spirit that maybe John left behind. Nothing's gonna change my world. Nothing's gonna change my world. But, but the way, you know, this show lays it out, especially the stuff about John's mom, really hit home. Naturally, I chose me mom. Which means I never saw me dad again until I was rich and famous. And he comes back, begging for money. And he gets all back to Liverpool with me mum. understood yoga, all right? You got to understand, by the time I was 25, I've been everywhere. I've done everything. I lived out every fantasy you could possibly have imagined. And then so. Now don't say it. I, I know what you're thinking. Don't have to say it. I know what you're thinking. Where's the, when I'm home, everything seems to be right. Last Paul's part, you see. <laughs> This is my night, thank you very much. <laughs> now, but seriously, that is a beautiful line that he wrote. And that's what I loved about Paul. He always came up with the perfect thing. And that was the nature of our relationship. You know, you scratch my back, I sing yours. Like on his, uh, we can work it out. We can work it out. I put in, life is very short. See, Paul was like the extra virgin olive oil. <laughs> and I was vinegar. <laughs> well, together, we made for a great salad. <laughs> fixation for you or a professional career choice that you made? Uh, it's both. Um, I was in New York when the Beatles hit America. I was in second grade. I, I came to realize, you know, uh, when Beatlemania hit Broadway in the late 70s, that, what, you can make a living doing this? Mm -hmm. And so I put together my own acts, and here we are 25 years later, played India and Japan and South America, Liverpool. Wow. Possession. Yeah. 